I'm Ron from Fish Tech University and today I'm going to show you how you can put big game fish right in your boat. This one here you don't want to miss. Welcome to Fish Tech University where we bring you the latest information on Lake Walla Paul Park. guys so right here let me show you this first off we're using the red what is it Greg the red gamagatsu hook number two and um, octopus yeah this is an octopus version if you can see that so here's what the guy now this I just want to give everybody a heads up here you can go over to Lake Well and Paul Pack Sports Shop and get all this information right out of right out of there I mean that's what we did this morning um, guy told us to take one of these I got let's I'm just gonna show you one two he said put it three feet there's your number five split shot right there all right now what he didn't tell you tell me was and I figured this one out go get yourself one of these this is a slip bobber so what you're going to do is, that little weight's going to carry your, you're going to go over there like Wild Paul Packs Workshop, you're going to get yourself a dozen of extra large shiners. Very simple, if you want to buy trout, you're probably looking at $3 a piece, we paid $10 a dozen for our, our light bait. I think it's a hell of a lot cheaper than wasting money on trout, but that's your preference. Anyhow. The bait I just showed you there on the graph. You want to drop. How about the. What's in the tank back there, the live bait, what they look like? Well, yeah, go ahead. You can show them the live bait real quick. Um, yeah, you can show them one. It's an extra large shiner. So basically. What I got set up here is I'm going to pull out a lot of string. We already marked our fish. So this is going to be your stopper. And I just simply tied a loop in the line right there. And uh, that's what you need to do. Or there's um, a slip knot that you could tie and put it all around the line there too. That'll prevent the line from that's going to hit the mark for you, in other words. So, when you get there, yeah, it'll be pretty much sitting right there on top. And then, uh, you're going to be sitting and waiting. And, uh... How do you know how deep to go? Um, well, we were just looking at our graph over there, and, um, the, the graph was telling us that we had, uh, live bait down there. We had a bait ball that was running like, um... 20 to um, 25 feet, you know, as high as, um, what would you say, about maybe 15 or so. So let's say 15 to 25 feet. So you want to keep it right around the edges of that bait ball. You want to make it stand out a little bit. All this information is right on Lake Dwellin' Paul Pack site. If you read through, you pay attention, it's all right there in front of you. So. I'm just making a video here and I'm, you know, showing you this information. Okay guys, when you're using the Garmin Live Scope, this is what you're looking for. Or any graph for what it's worth. But on a Garmin, this is what a, a bait ball looks like. Right now you could see in the water column where you got bait. I'm trying to get the whole thing here, but we got bait going from 10 feet down right around 25 28 foot of water you could see that bait ball moving through there so that's the targeted area one of fishing now i'm going to show you how we're going to do that and how we're going to set up all right so this is what we're going to show you right here on your down imaging on your hummingbird 
Right there. That's a bait ball. Felix 5 Gen 1. There you go. Right across the screen. So, if you don't have a Garmin and you have a Hummingbird, there you go. We just gave you a little tip right there. We're going to turn. It's all right there. There's, there's the live bait right there that we're using extra large shiners. Yep, that's the Okay. Hi, I'm Ron Douglas with uh, Fish Tech University, and uh, right now I'm up at Lake Well and Paul Pack. Lake Well and Paul Pack here, and I got a, a striper. I believe it's a stripe. We were um, just using these long bobbers. Yeah, this is a striper. We were over uh, a group of bait fish. Like, get your line on over there. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah, this We'll talk about the fish a little round. I don't know. I've been here for what, maybe five minutes trying to um now what did you use to key in on this fish? What kind of well, equipment? We went over to Lake Walla Paul Pack Sport Shop this morning and we um, we picked ourselves up. I don't know. There's there's a line out here. I don't know what it is. Oh, let me get that line too. I know what that line is. Oh, that's, is that my line? No, that's my other line. Let me get it, Ron. You want to chase him with the boat? I have to. This is a fucking locker. Yeah, I'm like looking down. I'm like, why is my life bait all down. Oh shit. I didn't realize. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a fucking strike. Now let's say PG 13 recording oh, here, yeah, Ron. Look at that. Look at the fin coming out of the water out there. It's coming up. Do we. Staying deep. Oh, oh, it's a striper. We got a striper out there. Oh, shit, look at the size of that thing. It's a, no, wait, 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 wait. We it's a, a trout, Ron. We got a trout. For Christ's sake, it's a trout. Oh, my God, look at the size of this trout. Dive right in at it, Ron. Holy shit. Whoa, this is the biggest trout I ever found. Oh. Oh, he just threw up. He just spit up on me. Those big trout. I'll take it. Holy shit, look at the size of that thing. Holy shit. You coming in, buddy. Look at that trout. Holy shit, look at the size of this thing. Wow. Wow. I think. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, fuck. He snapped it off. Fucking snapped the fucking. Snapped it off. Snapped it off, buddy. Oh, Broke the net. The net. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Alright, I'm signing off. Well, unfortunately, guys, as you can see there, we lost some footage there on the camera, but unfortunately, the fish ended up breaking the net. So, uh, we lost that one. We weren't able to get some nice photos of that fish. But um, stay tuned. If you like these videos, subscribe to my channel, and I promise you there's going to be more to come. So stay tuned right here on Fish Tech University. Thanks for watching. Don't take. Come on, release them. This is the set, part. This set is them the, free. Uh, uh, this is the part that really sucks. You gotta get rid of your wiping. Oh, you know how happy they are now. Happy? They're gonna be getting eaten up by stripers and brown trout, and God only knows what. There's gonna be a bait ball underneath the boat here. We're chumming. That's how you chump. Come on, buddy. That's it, okay. Out they go.